So this video is about trigonometric factoring. So like last time, we talked about grouping method, and now this time we will talk about trigonometric factoring. So this time also, you know, if the three terms share any common factor, then you have to factor by common factor first. But now let's guess. So ax squared plus bx plus c, they don't share any common factor, and then. I'm going to show one method which works for when a equal to 1 and a is not equal to 1 at the same time. Okay, Because um, most of the textbook they show that uh, based on this a value, they divide by two different parts when a equal to 1 or a is not equal to 1. But this method, we don't care about that. Just using one method and then we can factor for both different cases. Okay, so please follow these steps. So, uh, at, the, at the beginning, I'm going to show all the steps, and then uh, we'll show some examples later. So even though you may not understand you know, all these steps at the beginning, please follow that. And then when I show some examples, I also reflect what I did based on each step so you can understand better. Okay, so step one. We want to multiply a and c, and then we want to make we want to rewrite this polynomial x squared plus b x plus a times c. And then, in this case, please make make some blank space here. And write a equal to a, because later we will use this number, so you need it. And step two. Now you draw t table here, and then put a times c here and b here. So there will be step two. Now step three. So you're finding two factors, or f one and f two. So the condition is f one times f two must be equal to a times c. At the same time, f1 plus f2 equal to b. Okay. Now, after we found two factors, step four, you are opening two parentheses and then write x plus f1 over a, and then x plus f2 over a so that's the most important step here because we move a to c positions and then make a times c so at the end you have to divide both factor by a and the last step step 5 simplify each parenthesis there will be the whole step here. Okay, then let's look at one example. So I'm gonna write on next here so we can reflect all the steps based on this example. So examples which is 2x square plus 5x minus 12 here. Always you have to check whether this trinomial share any common factor. If it does, then you have to factor by common factor first. Do you see any common factor? No. Then we can begin these steps. Step 1, we are moving a to c position and then multiply them. So this become x squared plus 5x minus 24. So as you see, we do a times c here, so 2 times 12 become 24. Now, step 2, you do the t chart, and then we put negative 24, and then 5 here. So remember, this time we are multiplying two factor that result to become negative number. So now we can guess, one number become positive, the other must be 
negative. Since the sum equal to 5, I can see bigger number is plus, smaller one become minus here. Now, let's break 24. So 24, we can make 24 times 1, 12 times 2, 8 times 3, and 6 times 4. Okay. Out of all those four pairs, which sum will give you 5 here? Yes, 8 and, 8 and 3 here, right? So now we can move on. Step 4. So open two parentheses. And then, oops, I forgot to put actual A value. A equals 2. Sorry about this. And then now we can make each factor by A value. So X plus 8 over 2. And then X minus 3 over 2. Okay, I'm going to review why I put positive here and then negative here. Because, you know, when you multiply 8 times 3, it must be negative 24. So, one of this number must be negative sign. And then, now after you combine them, must be positive. So, I found positive 8 and then negative 3. That's the reason. Okay? Yeah. And now, simplify if possible. So which, which parentheses you can simplify? Yes, the first ones, right? So then this becomes 4 and then this becomes 1. Second one is not factorable. So now, so you move this in front of 2. Then this factoring becomes x plus 4 times 2x minus 3. That will be the answer for this trinomial. Let's look at one more example. So 7m squared plus 12m plus 5. So do you see any common factor or three terms? No. Then we can follow the factoring steps here. So step one, I'm going to move 7 to C position. So this becomes m squared plus 12m plus 35. And don't forget, a equal to 7 on the side so that we remind ourselves we will use this number later. Okay, now we draw T chart, put A times C 35 on the top here, 12 on the side. So in this case, when you find two factor, their multiplication become 35, the sum become 12, which means both are positive number. Okay, so here is positive and another positive here. Now, 35 case, we can make 35 times 1 or 7 times 5 here. So, which sum gives you 12? Yes, 7 and 5 here, right? Therefore, open to parentheses, you put m plus 7 over 7 m plus 5 over 7 again now which parentheses you can simplify yes this one so you can make this becomes 1 right therefore this answer becomes m plus 1 times 7 m plus 5